Hello guys, welcome to PC Dreams, where you find help on how to handle your PC related issues. Today I'll be showing you how you can find out about the PC characteristics that you have. Here, yeah, we'll be talking today about how to know your PC characteristics. When we say characteristics here, yeah, we mean things like your RAM, your system type if it's 32 bit, 64 bit, whether it's pen touch, whether you can touch the screen for it to work, and so on. The name of the machine, the description, and so on. So that's what we'll be showing you today. To do this, we just have to go to this PC. Now open. You go to this PC. To open this, the easiest way is to go on your desktop. And you open the dustbin or trash can. When you open it, you can just see these options and you click on this PC. You can see on the left, you right click on the this PC. I take properties. When you right click on this PC, you come to properties. After taking properties, now you can see this page. What we are interested in is this part in the middle where it says view basic information about your computer. Here it starts with the Windows version. Here it says Windows 10 Pro. You can see from here if you have Windows 8 or Windows 7, you are going to see Windows 7 at this level. And you also see the logo. Here you have the processor, the system type, the processor, RAM, and so on. Here you have processor when you say i2, dual core, and so on. Here you have Intel Core i5. When you say i5, here is where you can verify it. The processor speed, that is 1.6. This other one, 2.3. This is average speed. Here you have the installed RAM, 8 gigabytes. Meaning, if you add 4 gigabyte or 2 gigabyte or 1 gigabyte in your own computer, you have 2 year or 1 and so on. The operating system type, whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit. This first option you have here, 64 bit operating system, is what I've installed on the machine. This other one is a processor. Remember, on a 64 bit, you can install a 32 bit operating system. So, if here you have 64, you can see put 32 at this level. But if you put, but if you have 32 at this level, you cannot put 64 at this level. So, a 32 bit processor cannot run a 64 bit operating system. But a 64 bit processor can run a 32 bit and a 64 bit operating system. That's something you should keep in mind. And you have this pen touch to see if the screen of your machine you can work by touching the screen. It does not work here. That's why you see no pen touch, no pen or touch input is available. You can see the computer name, full name, work group. These other ones they are available as hardware properties on the machine. You cannot change them by using software manipulations. So you cannot go to settings and change RAM or change processor and so on. That's why you have no way to edit. But these other ones like the computer name. You can click on change settings and change the name of your computer. You can we change the work group at the description to show who owns the PC and so on. But the other hardware properties, you cannot change anything. Here you have this one deals with the activation of the license of the Windows installed here. But that's not a PC property. It is dealing with the software installed on your machine. So these first two options here, the system and the computer name domain are the properties you will likely need. Just in case you want something concerning the properties of your machine. To see more details, you can go to... Because here I can even save you basic information about your computer. To see more details, you can just click. You can just go to the search bar and you type Tax Manager. Just type Tax. You can see Tax Manager pops up. You open it and you can go to this tab. For example, when you open it, generally this is what we show. We have various applications running on all these processes. But to see the computer properties, you come to Performance. Once you click on Performance, you can see here my CPU, Memory, Dix, Ethernet, Ethernet. GPU. So to see maybe the speed of your CPU, you can just click on CPU on the left and you see various properties of the CPU. Here the utilizations, the utilization, the speed, the base speed, sockets, number of cores, logical processors, and so on. Even the catch. You can see the uptime, the time my machine has stayed on. You can see here it's 23 hours, 31 minutes, 30 seconds, and it keeps on adding up. You can see here Intel Core i5, which was what was also on this. So this other one is just a detailed explanation. Remember here is the tax manager. If you want to see the memory, you can see 3.8 out of 7.9 gig of RAM. So this is actually 8 gig of RAM, although it's written 7.9. You can also see the properties of the RAM and so on. You can see here is DDR3. You have the DIX, you have Ethernet, and so on. It depends on what property you need that will determine on what you should be looking for at this level. I hope it was useful, and if you have other issues that you have not solved here, Please keep them in the comment section or contact PC Drills through any of the means you found the video. Or just by searching online PC Drills and you will get to us. See you next time on our next video. Bye for now. PC Drills out.